Hi guys. Today we will be recapping a story about a girl who takes her brother's place to save her family. Please like the video and subscribe the channel it helps us a lot. In front of execution. A girl with her brother staring at a place with unbelievable eyes. In front of her, she can see her father and mother's heads. They are being executed for the attempted murder of the royal family by poisoning their food. She did not believe that this was happening to her family. In front of my brother and sister, a man was standing. Who is telling her this all happened because of your brother, Liam? This man was a crown prince, Dylan von Vasilius. She knows this is not the case. He looks at her brother and orders his guard to take him away for execution. One last time her brother looked at her. Liam was her twin brother. She knows that Lame is a sweet and gentle-hearted person. He did not do anything because he can't even kill a bug. She begs him not to do this. But he didn't stop. He kills him. She sees her brother's head in front of her. She was crying and didn't believe this was happening. Then Crown Prince Dylan said to her, You are next daughter of Marquis Loris. She only stares at the Crown Prince with hatred. Speak to herself by saying, I will never forget you. You killed my whole family. I will make you pay. When they take her for execution. She thought only one thing she failed as the elder sister of Lame. That she did not notice that her brother was being bullied at the school. If I had noticed, I would never have sent him to the school of Poultis. Then none of this would happen. The crown prince ordered him to kill her. She asked God just once, if you could turn back the time, please send me back to that moment. Then she awoke from her bad dreams. She did not know what happened. Her brother suddenly came to her and hugged her. He was happy for her to wake up. When she saw her brother in front of her, she asks if you are alive. How is your neck? Because she knew her brother was being executed. She could not believe it. He was alive. <laughs> Thanks to God. She smiled with tears in her eyes. Her brother telling her that she was lying in bed with a hot fever. And he thought she would never wake up. You stumbled and fell during your sword training and bumped your head. Do you know how worried our parents and I were? She says sorry, and I will be careful next time. Liam says if she does not wake up, he will not go to the entrance ceremony tomorrow, and he doesn't want to go there. Liam Loris, how is he 16 years old? Wait a moment. Linali Loris, an older twin sister, is 16 years old. What entrance ceremony? He shouts, what have you lost your memory? Of course, the school of Pulta's entrance ceremony. He was going to run to call the doctor. He thought this might be the side effect of hitting her head. She stopped lame by saying I most likely had a bad dream. She thought, what's going on? We were 19 years old, not 16. Lame looks worried when looking at her. Now that I noticed Liam does look younger than I am 16. If it's just before the entrance ceremony, have I gone three years back in time? Her sweet, intelligent brother Liam was more talented in magic than swordsmanship. The house of Loris has been a family of knights for generations. So as the heir, Liam had to apply for the knight department in the school of Poultis. Liam was ridiculous for his poor swordsman skills, which made him the prey of the crown prince. That monster took away their happiness. If he enters the school like this, tragedy will repeat itself. What should I do? Lame looked at her with hesitation, saying. I wish I had good swordsmanship like you. We are twins, but why are we so different? You should have been born as a man, not me. Me as a man? That is it. That is just it. Lame, listen to me. She grabs his ear. But it hurts. She whispering something into his ear. Liam, look at her. Sister, that will never work. What if we get capture? We will not get capture. Don't worry, leave it to me. She goes to her father's office. Her suddenly entry shocked her father. I want to say something. 
Marquis Loris he is the head of Loris family. She trying to speak, but her father suddenly hugged her. Lin Ali, you are awake. How are you feeling? Any fever? Father, let me go. You are suffocating me. <laughs> she feels sad to see her father like this. Sorry for making you worry I am all right now. There is something Lin Ali want to discuss with them. She went to the wall where sword were placing. She thought I always wonder. What if had been me instead of Liam who entered the school poultice? She took it with one hand place it near her neck. Linali father and brother trying to stop her. But she cut her hair. Father I would like to attend school of poultice in the place of Liam. Marquis Loris didn't believe what he listen. You want to attend the school of poultice in the place of Liam. What are you talking about? Marquis was shocked and asked Linali. How dare you cut your valuable hair? Marquis looks emotional, he likes Linali's beautiful long hair. She was arranged to marry into the house of Wergman soon. Marquis didn't understand why Linali was doing this. Linali is looking at her same old loving father. She is trying her best to convince her father by saying Liam is not talented in swordsmanship. Rather, Liam is gifted in magic, we all know that. But Marquis is not understanding her. He cut off completely her sentence by saying that, for generations of Lowered, they have been a family of knights. If not, Liam will inherit the title. How else? I will take Liam place Linali shouted with confidence. Marquis Loris didn't believe what he listened. Linali is saying she will dress as a boy and act like Liam. Linali is ready to enter the knight department and learn the knowledge and skills to become a knight. That's why she cut her hair, Linali shouted with confidence. Her father, Marquis, got angry and read to blast. He will never send her lovely daughter between a bunch of boys. Linali promises to be careful about her safety. But her father is not convinced and wants her to take a bridal course. But Linali wants Liam to take the bridal course instead of her. Liam was shocked by her decision. He asked Linali why she hadn't mentioned this before. Linali is not taking her brothers seriously by saying, Don't worry, you will be fine. Linali's father, Marquis, didn't accept this. He was determined, and instead of sending her daughter to the academy, he shouted, No over my dead body. Marquis was not ready and explained to Linali. If we are caught doing this, it will be the end of our family. I will never allow this. He said this by making his final decision. Marquis tells Linali that, as a woman, she has no reason to hold a sword. You just have to enjoy the life of a woman. Linali is trying to be honest with her father by saying marriage is not the only happiness for women. Besides, Linali already cut her hair now Wergman will never accept her. Marquis was trying to say something. But Linali wants her father to trust her decision that she will come back with glory. Linali can't let that missable future repeat itself again. She was determined to go to the school. Her father, Marquis, saw her determination and said. All right. The siblings are surprised. But their father has one condition. Marquis gives Linali one year. Prove to him that she is worthy of becoming a family heir. If Linali fails, she must return and marry into the house of Wergman. Linali was happy, by force she get what she want, but it's still work. Liam was shocked. But Linali was glad that her dress would fit Liam. <laughs> she smiled just by thinking. When Linali reached the school of Poultis. She was shocked to see the best education organization for knights and wizards. The Department of Knights has 50 male students. 
The Department of Wizards has 50 male and female students. In the school, only 150 students are accepted each year. Linali was ready to perform well. She wants to take back all the happiness the crown prince took from them. Linali was ready to guard them well this time. He is so handsome. Which family is he from? Linali hears whipping when she looks back. Oh, he looks at me, our eyes meet. Linali was relieved because they see her as a boy. Hmm. She had no idea Liam was admired by girls. Linali wants to maintain a low profile. Liam told her once that he bumped into the crown prince during the entrance ceremony. <laughs> Linali must not bump into him if she wants to avoid a bad future. Perseus is here. Linali hears cheers. He looks handsome as always. How lucky I am to see him this morning. Linali sees four handsome boys gating out of carriage. Osman Arnold is a family of knights who shine like a bright sun. The Bakart Eldic family is in charge of the empire's administration, he has such a sharp and attractive eye. Krija Kyle belongs to the family of wizards. Is looking relaxed and more handsome. And last, but not least. Crown Prince Dylan seems to have an air around him. When Linali heard the Crown Prince's name, she was shocked to see him again. She is looking at the four groups of people who rule the school of Poltis and are the future leaders of the country. Krija belongs to the family of wizards. Osman is a family of knights. The Bakart family is in charge of the empire's administration. They are the three duke families that sustain the empire. They are also the three families that have been serving the emperor for generations. School becomes more popular when Last year, these heirs of three families joined the school along with the crown prince. Students, and even teachers, are powerless against them. They become the true rulers of the school, which is why they are called Perseus. The crown prince is a person who executed Linali family for a crime they didn't commit. Linali wants to avoid Dylan von Vasilius as much as possible. For Liam's sake. But Linali didn't know that whoever she wanted to avoid already saw her. Crown Prince Dylan is not impressed with their cheers. Then Prince Dylan heard some girls cheering for a freshman among them. The prince didn't like it. <laughs> prince Dylan wants to see him. He spots him in the crowd and stops him by asking. Are you in the knight's department? Linali was surprised to see Crown Prince Dylan talking to her. Prince Dylan smiled like an arrogant person and said, You look weak. Why would they allow weaklings in school? Crown Prince Dylan came close to her and said, You have a pretty face. It's pathetic that you became a knight. <laughs> Eldic wants to interfere Crown Prince Dylan. But Arnold stops Eldic by saying it's fun. Linali can't believe herself. Why would Crown Prince Dylan come to her? The Crown Prince asked her how you could have a sword with your frail arms. Linali trying hard to avoid him. Because she didn't want things to get worse. All origins of all vices. Crown Prince Dylan. Linali watched Crown Prince Dylan with haters. The Crown Prince watched her with confused eyes. Then he smiled and said, How bold are you? What is your name? Linali replied, Liam Loris, Your Royal Highness. Crown Prince Dylan smiled and said, Loris. Oh, I see. You have a sister who is rumored to be so snarly that nobody wants to get married. Linali was confused. The Crown Prince continues to say they say she is a beast who swings her sword amidst men. I pity House Wergman for having to accept her as their daughter-in-law Linali got angry. She wants to beat him up. She bit her teeth and said to herself, You must keep calm. Crown Prince Dylan sees Linali eyes staring at him. Prince didn't like the way she looked at him. Dot Crown Prince Dylan didn't get angry. 
but he got interested in her. He drew a sword with his left hand. Point his sword nip to Linali face and challenge her for a duel with him. If the crown prince wins, he will become his slave. Linali is shocked by the sudden challenge. He is really a notorious crown prince indeed. Crown Prince Dylan smiled and said. Are you scared? Why wouldn't you draw your sword? Linali is not ready to take his bait. The Crown Prince said. I can't believe a coward like you is an heir. I see the end is coming for the house of Loris. <laughs> Linali is shocked to hear Crown Prince comment for her family. One of the best in the empire, the swordsmanship skill is going to fall. If the crown prince insults her and she does not react to him, but her family does, that is another story. Linali can't bear to insult her family. She draws her sword. With a tight hand. Arnold and Eldick were shocked to see him accept the crown prince challenge. <laughs> crown prince Dylan is not expecting him to point his sword at his face. Linali shout I expect your challenge. If I win, you will take back your words. Crown Prince Dylan attacked her and said if you won? Linali would be surprised by his sudden attack. But Linali fought back. With both sudden fights. Eldick took action to clear the ground for their fighting by saying. Stay away. This is getting dangerous. Both fights got tens. Nobody wants to lose. Kyle is impressed by his. And Arnold wants to see how Liam loses. Crown Prince Dylan was shocked to see him taking all his fighting attacks easy. The Crown Prince is losing his grip on the sword. Crown Prince Dylan got serious. He never expect a pretty face weak look person have a strong strength how overpowered him. They fight neck and neck. Linali has never lost a sword fight. Back in the house I lost the sword fight. Dot of Loris. A man was sitting on his knees and said. I lost the sword fight. Linali is happy for her win. She shout. Yes, I win. In Loris' house, nobody is surprised by her win because nobody can beat our lady. She has beaten all the knights of Loris. The best in the empire. It's sad she is a woman. She would become a great knight if she were a man. Crown Prince Dylan and Linali Loris are still fighting. Linali continues to attack the Crown Prince. Crown Prince Dylan is surprised for such a fighting skill. He knows now that Loris' house is neck and neck with the house of Osman. But why do we never hear his name? Linali is determined to win this fight for her family and her brother. She will not lose this fight for them. With Linali's surprise attack. Then something happened that the school of Poltis never expected. With a losing hand sword fly in the sky. Arnold has a surprised smile. Eldick and Kyle are shocked. Nobody expected this would happen to see such a result. Crown Prince Dylan sitting on the knees without a sword. And Linali pointing her sword at him. With a tired body, she said. I won. Crown Prince Dylan bit his teeth. Arnold shouted victory over Dylan. Crown Prince Dylan's fans didn't expect this. When they lose, they start crying. Kyle is impressed by Linali's skill. Linali, with a close eye, celebrates her win. Crown Prince Dylan watched her with a serious face. Linali faced the Crown Prince and said. I win. So please take back your words. Your Royal Highness, that the House of Low Reese will not come to an end. Crown Prince Dylan got angry and said, Sure. I will take my word back. Then the Crown Prince stood up and reminded her not to be overconfident, because you happened to win this fight once. With an angry voice, Crown Prince Dylan shouts to his friends to let's go. When these four groups of people leave, Lin Ali didn't believe Crown Prince Dylan said she won because of her luck. She got angry because she won because of her skill, luck had nothing to do with this. 
Lin Ali got angry on her first day of school. She is trying to stay away from Crown Prince Dylan. And she ended up dueling with him. She thinks she pissed him off. But it was just because she was defending her family's honor. When Lin Ali reached her classroom, she got nervous. She is welcomed by her classmates' silent treatment. Lin Ali didn't expect this welcome. They are whispering behind her back. When Lin Ali sets her set, she can see the whole school knows about her duel. I guess I did expect this somewhat. Nobody likes to be at the center of gossip. Lin Ali thought Liam was always alone because he had no friends. So this time Lin Ali was playing to make lots of friends for him. She felt sorry for Liam. Lin Ali is determined to make just one friend. And as she stands up from her seat, someone appears in front of her. He came to congratulate her. He said he saw her duel. You are amazing. You defeated Crown Prince Dylan. Lin Ali is surprised to hear her praise. This person introduces himself as Agni. He offered his hand in front of her. Lin Ali is surprised that she just made a friend. She takes her hand with him and introduces herself as Liam Lo Reese. Agni is surprised to know that she is a noble and sorry for his behavior. But Lin Ali didn't take it to heart and said everybody is equal in school, don't worry. Expect those, Perseus. Agni wasn't expecting her response. Agni said everybody says to stay away from you. He was just wondering why. Lin Ali is surprised by this piece of news. Agni Happy said you are a nice person. Lin Ali thanks him for the praise. What does that mean? Rumors warning others not to get close to her. After that day, both of them got along really well. Agni was a bright and easygoing person. Lin Ali feels even Liam could have been friends with him. When Lin Ali came back from the library, she thought Agni was probably waiting for her in the class. Lin Ali passes through the corridor. And she sees a crowd of people. Lin Ali has no idea why so many people are gathering around the foundation in the garden. Crown Prince Dylan is also present there. Arnold was complaining. Why did Dylan fight again? Eldick said Prince would get bored soon anyway. And other Perseus are here too. Lin Ali wants to know what's happening. When she saw a man pass out in the foundation and when she got close to see that person's face. She shouted Agni. She ran to him and wanted to know if he was okay. Lin Ali is stopped by the crown prince. She asks him why he is doing this to Agni. Crown Prince Dylan replied that he was going against his order and getting close to you. Lin Ali remember why Agni said that day why everyone is against getting close to you. She shouted to him, you are going too far just because you lost a fight. Crown Prince didn't care what people thought about him. He blamed Lin Ali for Agni's condition. Lin Ali just wants to know if her friend Agni is alright. She ignores him and wants to get him to the infirmary immediately. Crown Prince didn't like that she once again ignored him. He shouted to his guard to beat him. Lin Ali is confused by the sudden change of situation. She is under attack. She is not ready for this. But suddenly someone stopped the attack with magic. Lin Ali was shocked to know who stopped the attack was not another. Then Perseus member Kyle. Lin Ali fell into the fountain. Kyle used his magic to save Lin Ali. Crown Prince grits his teeth and asks Kyle what is he doing. Kyle replies to the crown prince. You going too far this time. You could have killed him. But crown prince Dylan's angry shout doesn't interfere. Lin Ali is surprised by Kyle's behavior. Why would he save him? Arnold comes between both of them and stops the fight. But crown prince Dylan is not happy with Kyle's sudden change of behavior. Arnold shouts to stop the fight because how can they face Eris like this? Crown Prince then remember tomorrow is Eris. Crown Prince Dylan looks at the face of Lin Ali. 
and said I may have been a bit harsh on them and asked for her forgiveness. Linali is surprised by the crown prince's sudden behavior. What to know what is he up to? Crown prince want to show how sorry he was he would like to invite her to Eris. Linali is surprised to hear Eris's name. Students are around them surprised. That crown prince Dylan invites her to attend the Eris tea party. They are jealous of her. Linali was surprised by the sudden invitation to the tea party. Crown Prince Dylan apologized to her for what happened today. But Linali is not happy with Crown Prince Kind's suspicious behavior because she knows him better. Crown Prince Dylan said having a tea party invitation means you have a bright future ahead of you. Marquis Loris will be very proud of this Crown Prince glassing her and asking are you not thinking of rejecting my offer? Linali is not sure what is he up to. But she can't refuse an offer from the crown prince whose status is so much higher than me. Linali thanked him for inviting me. Crown Prince Dylan's evil smile and said he would be waiting for him. Come to the pavilion at the Eastern Garden tomorrow at four. All the people left after that. Ares is an abbreviation for aristocrat, another term of nobility. Is a core institute of the academy that only a select few people can be part of. Ares is seen as the face of the school with the members of four Perseus only a few other high-ranking nobles attend. A tea party held regularly by Ares. This is an event any noble would dream of being invited, even once in a lifetime. Four women would increase her worth as a lady and become a heart of the high society. Four men would easily open the door for them to become an official knight. After leaving Agni at the infirmary. Linali comes to the empty bathroom in the annex to take a shower she locks the door for her safety. When taking a shower Linali though will Agni still want to become her friend. He is so much hurt because of her. Linali didn't want to go to Ari's tea party. When Linali gets out of the shower, she's someone present in the bathroom. She is shocked to see Kyle a member of Perseus. <coughs> Linali wanted to hide herself. She was sure, she locked the door. But Kyle now knew she was a girl. Linali tried to be as careful as possible. No one of the Perseus knows that she is a woman. Then he smiled and said, how bold are you? Linali sitting on the knees in front of Kyle. Kyle asked her in the place of her brother Liam, who lacks swordsmanship. You come here, take his place. That's a very bold move. Linali grits her teeth with hatred. In front of Kyle, Linali bobbed down for her family's sake. Because Kyle now knows everything. Kyle asked her then, what is your brother doing? Linali hesitates but still tells him. That her brother Liam doing a bridal course in her place. Kyle laughed so hard he had never heard about such a strange brother and sister. Linali thought why did Kyle Chrysler one of the peculiar people laugh? Kyle removed a tear from his eye and said you are so strange. There are not many people who would dare raise their swords against Prince Dylan. Linali is one of the most interesting women Kyle has met. Linali knows that he is not praising her. Kyle then knows why Dylan is interested in her. Linali wants to know if he keeps a secret. If words get out about this, it will be over for her family. She has to make sure he keeps his mouth shut. Kyle doesn't answer her questions. Linali said she would do anything so please don't tell anybody. Hmm. Anything? Fine. Linali is happy because it's work not knowing what kind of future she is going to face. Kyle said so your name is Linali Loris. Kyle promised that he will keep her secret. Linali wants to say thank you. But Kyle interferes with her by saying if you don't keep me happy he will tell everyone. Hmm. So keep me happy. Linali knows she exposed her weakness to the most dangerous person. Back to the school building Linali is depressed. Is didn't know what was going to happen. After this incident, when she entered her classroom. She was flby inch by classmate C suddenly friendly manner. They congratulate her for inviting Aries. There wants to know what did she to invited. To Linali this is not important anymore. She wants to know if Agni is here. When she heard about his absence from class today. Linali is upset she knows this all happened because of her. Linali wants to visit Agni after Ari's tea party and wants to apologize to him. Linali reaches the pavilion at the Eastern Garden. And wants to finish the tea party without ups and downs. Look. 
Who's here? Crown Prince Dylan's surprise that he actually managed to get here without turning tail on us.